Hello and welcome to the first video in this new series making a sort of floppy bird type game called Simple Floppy Robin in Cocos 2DX. The idea being that this will be an app then available for Android. So uh, the way this came about was I did this video advertising my own game with the hope of a bit of publicity um, and did say in the video I wanted to do some Cocos 2DX tutorials. Well, I was staying with some friends the other day and their kids were playing this game, which believe it or not, because I'm too old for these things these days and, and cut off, um, I hadn't really heard of this floppy bird game. I then looked on the Play Store and found there were hundreds of ripoffs of this game as well, where basically you, you tap a little bird and it jumps up and down, you try not to get it to hit objects. Well, I was having a play around yesterday uh, evening how this might work and how simple it is and it's actually a really good um, basis I think for some tutorials of how you can make some games. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two different tutorial series, one Cocos 2D X where we'll build the app for Android and I'm actually going to use Cocos 2D iPhone to build it for iOS uh, for two reasons, well not for two reasons, for many reasons but I think it's good to have both uh, types of tutorial there because people use both and also I actually prefer that even though that Cocos 2DX is completely cross-platform I prefer to use uh, Cocos 2D iPhone for iOS, so kind of like uh, Objective-C. So what I've actually done is I've created inside my developer console on Google Play actually already created Simple Floppy Robin and like I said the idea of this tutorial series is we'll build this app, we'll program it um, at first we'll program it under, not under Eclipse, I'm going to use Xcode, you can also use Visual Studio, it doesn't matter because it'll all be C++. And later on, the reason I've done this and made the APK, or made the basis to load up an APK here, is I want to be able to integrate the Game Center, so achievements and leaderboards, and also an advertising banner, so you can see during the tutorial how you actually go about doing that with C++ code and the Java layer in Android, because that can be quite tricky. To get Cocos 2DX, you simply go to cocos2d-x.org, go to download. Now, at the moment there's version 2.2.2. .2. I'm going to be using, however, version 2.2.1 for this series. So if you click on looking for an older version, you'll then find it available in the downloads here. And I'd recommend you do that because they do some subtle bug fixes which can make your code change um, in, in a way that might mean the series might not work properly. I don't know, it probably will work with 2.2.2, but just to be safe, use 2.2.1, please. And I'm just noting here that they've they've said what they've really updated here is some errors with Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8. Um, I also have downloaded the version 3, but that's still in beta, so we're not going to use that. If you download that zip file and just unzip it anywhere, what you'll end up with is a, a folder structure um, where you've got Cocos 2DX-2.2.1 uh, like this and inside some various folders and what you need to go to is you need to navigate to this tools section here and inside there there's a project creator and this create, uh, contains a Python script here um, and what you need to do is in your command window in, well, um, on Windows or on the terminal on the Mac or on Linux you need to, inside this project creator directory, run that Python script to be able to create your project. So in this example here, I'm going to run this here. Now on Windows obviously you don't need the dot and the forward slash. And another thing actually I should note is Python scripts run on the Mac at least um, out of the box. So you just need to run something dot py and it knows how to run the Python script. I don't know whether this is the case in the Windows, but I'm sure if you type into Google how do I run a Python script, you'll find some very simple instructions on how to get Python up and running, just in case this doesn't work for Windows users. And I also think if I remember correctly from my um, Linux computer, it should run straight out of the box on Linux in the terminal as well. So you want to type uh, create project underscore dot uh, create and score project dot py for pi dash project space then the name I've called it simple f uh, floppy robin and then dash package and please don't use this package name for later on because I'll be uploading the package with this name but I'm going to call it com dot blue fever dot simple floppy robin and then dash language dot cpp and all this is doing is telling you the, telling the, the creator what package name you want to use and then it's also telling uh, what language you're going to be using which in this case is C++ hence the CPP. Now you press enter on this 
and you'll get some feedback here that it's created all of the projects for you and also where they're located and you can see here that they're located inside Coco Studio X 2.2.1 projects and simple floppy Robin so if I just uh, navigate to that directory that you can see in the terminal there so we're going into projects and then simple floppy Robin and come back what do we have what we have is a fantastic really layout um, of projects and source code which um, to be honest I find astonishing that they've managed to achieve this in this way but essentially what you have is your main most important folder or one of the two most is this classes folder which contains your C++ code and then you have your resources folder here which contains all your resources for the project what you then have is all of the platform specific projects here um, so the Android one is the most important one for us and then what we'll also be using before going into the Android is in my case because I'm on a Mac I'll be using this Mac project and Windows users will probably want to use this Win32 project here for um, the .slm for Visual Studio the solution here so all I need to do before I do anything else is I'm just going to drag and drop a couple of resources from another window I'm just going to copy and go into resources and paste those in there and they haven't pasted in the correct place as usual I've got Robin HD and somewhere up here I should have a background as well here it is and I'll put these available for download obviously as well okay and all these are is just to start off the game this will be our background here ripped off from Traffic Light Mania and I've also ripped off the Robin and tried to make it look like the Robin is actually flying a little bit but as you've gathered from Traffic Light Mania I'm not really the artist so there's our Robin that's going to be our little bird jumping up and down so those have gone inside resources and now for developing this app to start with before we go into Eclipse and Android because the setup there um, and things associated can be quite tricky when you first go into it um, we can get all the C++ done and out of the C++ code sorry done and out of the way without actually um, needing to delve into the Android by using uh, in, our case, in my case on the Mac Xcode and like I said on Windows you'll probably want to use um, the .sln solution and I guess on Linux um, if you're already pro programming in C++ with Eclipse then you'll go straight into the Android project but the point is it doesn't really matter what you use because this is set up so that all the C++, C++ code inside here is used by all of these projects irrespective of the platform so it's platform independent which is fantastic so I'm just going to open up the Mac project here double click on simple floppy Robin Xcode all open up there just move it across and now what I'm simply going to do is actually just press command and B to get the the project building without doing anything to it and it says the builder succeeded and I'll leave it indexing and whilst it's doing that just explain some things so what we've got inside here is the Cocos 2DX um, project inside this 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 project here which contains all of the files and includes and things that are part of the Cocos 2DX platform we then have box 2d and chipmunk which are the physics simulators which we won't be using in our in this application but they're there our classes folder which you're familiar with having already included the uh, currency plus plus files cocos tension for sound and importantly inside here we've got the mac folder and inside there there's this app controller now if you're on windows just bringing back up here inside the win32 here you've got a main.cpp this does exactly the same thing and in fact if I just open this up with text wrangler can I drag this and it just opens on its own or not no hang on a minute I just want to open this up in a new window so I can show you main main.cpp you'll see inside here that you can hear you can set the frame size and that's the important thing and this is the thing that really helps for Android development before you move into Android emulator is you can start testing all sorts of aspect ratios and um, resolutions for your project um, which allows you to simulate lots and lots of devices very easily inside a normal Windows window in this case in our case on the Mac we've got this app controller and here this NSRECT is actually making a rectangle for us starting at point 200 by 200 480 wide and 320 high we're going to change this to 960 by 640 which will be the base sort of size for our game 
and we'll base then our graphics on this but we'll have uh, high definition ultra high def and also lower definition depending on the size but we'll cover how we go about doing that later on for now we'll just take a very quick look at how the project looks when we run it so above here you need to select the actual project to run not the cocos 2 dx library and then just create click run and all being well the project should run in the window and there it is with its off button here as well okay so that's our project actually up and running I'm going to stop the video there because if you've watched any of my other videos in the other series I like to keep them to around 10 minutes or so if possible and in the next video we'll add our background and our little robin onto the screen so thanks very much for watching hope that's made some sense and comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube